Lagoon, a stinky mud puddle to you and me, but to them it is a tropical beach for hot summer fun. Ah, uh, what a beautiful day. Perfect weather to get out and soak in the sun's rays and get one smoking hot tan. <sighs> but sadly, I'm once again trapped in the shadowy breaches of this grease trap. Hey, Squidward, you seem down today. What's wrong? <sighs> I'm just upset that I'm working here on this beautiful sunny day. Ah, come on, Squidward. Any kind of day's a perfect day when you're working at the Krusty Krab. Well, maybe for you two barnacle heads, but not for me. I'd rather get out there and soak up a tan than work through all of this. Don't worry about that, Squidward. I'm sure things around here will get better. Really? How? Boys! Please report to me office this instant! Aye, aye, <sighs> Captain. Yes, sir, Mr. Krabs' boss, sir. All right, boys, listen up. I caught you in here to let you know that I'm closing up the crusty crap for the day. <gasps> Wait, really? Yep, because we're going to the beach today! Yay! I can't wait to get out there and get that tan! Hold your seahorses, Mr. Squidward, you're not getting any tans today! Wait, what? We're going to compete in the 10th Annual Tag Team Summer Fun Competition and win me the $5,000 prize! <laughs> Well, I'm not going to help you win any more money. Well, if you help me win, I might just consider letting you take the day off so you can get that tan you've been blabbing about. Wait, really? Ah, fine, I'll help you. Excellent! And that's that done. Thank you, sir, and good luck. No, thank you. All right, boys, listen up. This contest only allows two people per team, so I paired SpongeBob with Patrick, so which means you're on my team, Mr. Squidward. Yippee! As long as I'm not paired with either of these two buffoons, I'm happy. All right, enough lollygagging, you three. Let's get a move on. The contest is about to start. Aloha, Ghoul Lagooners! Donovan Shellison here, coming to you live at the 10th Annual Tag Team Summer Fun Competition! Now before we begin, I want to introduce to you this year's Tag Team Teams. We've got the current champion team of Larry the Lobster and Scooter the Fish, along with Chad and Maya, Ryan and Bridget, Joan and Zach, plus last minute entries of Eugene Krabs and Squidward Tortellini, Tentacles, and SpongeBob SquarePants and Patrick Starr. Each team will compete in three rounds. Whoever gets the most points out of all three rounds wins the Winner's Cup and the $500,000 prize. 
All right, boys. The important thing to remember is to win me the money. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Let's just get this over with so I can get that tan. Hey, before the competition starts, I just want to say, may the best team win. What's that supposed to mean? Dude, he's just wishing you and the rest good luck. Yeah, and hoping that one of us deserves to win. I'm the one who deserves to win the prize money, and no one's stopping me from doing that. The main purpose in the competition is to work together as a team. <laughs> The only thing I care about in a competition is winning the prize money. We'll see how good that'll do you in round one, weightlifting. All right, in this round, one team member shall lift a huge dumbbell while the other teammate counts up the results. They have one minute to win it. Go! <sighs> For the money. Whoa, whoa, slow down. I can't count with you going that fast. You can do it, Patrick. You got this, babe. Oh, come on, Ryan. It isn't that heavy. Oh, yeah. You go, Zach. One minute later. Time's up! Drop your dumbbells and turn in your results! Uh, you are such a drama queen! Okay, after reviewing the results, here are the team's current scores! Hey, congrats for tying up with us. You better not congratulate me until I get that prize money. Crabs, we're supposed to be good sports here, and good sports definitely don't act like that. <laughs> we'll see how far that garbage gets you in. Round two, Sandcastle Building. All right, in this round, teams will have exactly one hour to custom design their own sandcastles using the sand, shells, rocks, and etc. from within this beach. They will be judged by me. The scores will vary depending on how good their builds are. Ready, set, go! One hour later... Time's up! Now, time for me to judge your bills! Nice job, guys. Another good build as usual. 50 points. Hey, thanks, Don. Yeah, we appreciate the kind words. <laughs> Ugh, what's that supposed to be? This, my friend, is a majestically hand-sculpted sand palace topped off with the gorgeous face of yours, truly. Okay, first of all, I'm not your friend, and second, that thing is terrible! It puts the fun of sandcastle building to shame! It gets zero points! What?! That's not fair! I did all the crafting here! Well, this is a tag team competition, not a one-person competition. Wow, now this is what I call a sandcastle. The yellow sand adds such pizzazz to the regular sand. Thanks. This pink shell here is a reminder of my love for my pet snail, Gary. Meow! And this rock is a reminder of the one thing that's kept me warm and safe. My own house. Wow, such beautiful touches and ways to describe them. You guys get 100 points. Yippee! Unbelievable. And now, going through and adding the scores, here are the team's latest results. We're falling behind, Mr. Squidward, and it's thanks to you and your terrible art skills. 
everyone's a critic. Hey, Krabs, just calm down. Larry's right, man. Getting angry and upset isn't going to make things better for you and your teammates. I don't care what you two say. I'm not coming down until that prize money is mine. Oh. This is sure going to make things tough for him and Squidward in... Round 3. Surf Draw Racing. You all are probably wondering, what's Surf Draw Racing? Well, let me explain. In this round, one team member rides a surfboard while the other one pulls them as they swim across the ocean. Remind me again when we got the kid size surfboard instead of the regular size? Because it's cheap! Typical. Alright, teams will start off racing here, then they will swim across the ocean and around that flag. Then, they will swim back towards the finish line. First place will get a thousand points. Second place is 500. Third place is a hundred. And the rest is 10 points. Now, racers, to your starting positions. On your mark, get set, go! Mr. Krabs, please slow down. This is absolutely insane. Just slow down. I'm not slowing down until I beat that overbuilt shellfish and win that prize money for myself. Ah! Whoa, he's pretty fast. Ow! But even so, you won't be able to win like that, cheapskate. We'll just see about that, pretty boy. Ah! Ah! <laughs> What's going on here? We're stuck here thanks to your greedy desire for the money. What? That's malarkey. It was obviously Larry's fault. Larry had nothing to do with this, Mr. Krabs. You've been so caught up with wanting to win that prize money that you couldn't pay attention to what was going on. And now we're stuck here because of that. <sighs> I suppose you're right. Hold up, Patrick. Stop right there. I could see Squidward and Mr. Krabs. What happened to you two? Mr. Krabs got us all tangled up thanks to his raging ambition for the prize money. I... It's true, Boyo. I've been letting money get in me head too much to not know the meanings of teamwork and good sportsmanship. Uh, just go on, boys. It's too late for us now. No way. Krusty Crew members never leave Krusty Crew members behind. Nah. Touching. Wait, my brain just hatched an idea. Huh, they must have fallen behind. Serves him right for not being a good sport. Yeah, right. Huh? Dude, look again. Huh? All right, crew. Time to pick it up to overdrive. You got it, buddy. One turbo overdrive coming up. Wow, looks like you finally understand the meaning of teamwork. Yes, it appears that I have. But still, you won't beat us. We'll just see about that. And both teams of SpongeBob and Patrick and Krabs and Squidward have crossed the finish line together. So that means both teams take first and second place. What just happened? You won the whole thing. Congratulations. Thanks. You did a pretty good job, too. Thanks. Now this is what I call good sportsmanship. Well, it's because I got me some good, loyal employees who know the meaning of all that. Congratulations, and here's your prize. A $500,000 check. 
Thanks, but I think the prize should go to Mr. Krabs. He deserves it for choosing to be a good sport and a team player. Hmm. Very well then. Here's your check, Krabs. Oh, I think you done. Well, this turned out to be a pretty good beach day. I'll say. Just look at me. I got that tan after all. What?